Marc Aguirre, nom de plume, Saint Lou, the 19th of March 1908 in Bordeaux, the 16th of December 1990 in Paris, was a French anti-capitalist, later turned into fascist, politician, writer, and mountaineer. Topic: <laughs> Early years. Aguirre's earliest direct political involvement began in the Republican Socialist Party, although the main focus of his youthful energies was the Centre Laic des Auberges, a non-political group central to the development of youth hostels in France. Although its leader Jean Giono was not a fascist it was Aguirre's fascination with Giono's primitivism that eventually led to the young Aguirre adopting that ideology. He was also a supporter of paganism against Christian decadence. Collaboration Aguirre formed his own group, the Les Junes de l'Europe Nouvelle, in 1941, attracting 4,000 members and affiliating to the group Collaboration. He became associated with the Breton nationalist Alphonse de Chateaubriand, a leading figure in the group, and was for a time business manager of his journal Le Gerbe. Aguirre then joined the political bureau of Jacques Doriot's French Popular Party PPF. He enlisted in the Legion of French Volunteers Against Bolshevism and served on the Eastern Front whilst also launching and editing the group's paper Le Combatant Europon. He served in both the LVF and the French Waffen-SS as a war correspondent. He was also responsible for the French Waffen-SS official organ, Devenir, to become, or becoming. However Aguirre, who still supported economic socialism and hoped that Nazism would take seriously the «socialism» part of its name, grew disillusioned by the distinct lack of anti-capitalism amongst the SS men with whom he served. <laughs> Post-war writing In 1945 he went underground and published Face Nord North Face under the pseudonym M. A. de saint Lou to pay for his passage to Argentina. The book had some success in France. In Argentina he acted as a technical advisor to Juan Perón and also enlisted in the Argentine army, attaining the rank of lieutenant colonel. He also acted as Eva Perón's ski instructor. He was pardoned and returned to France in 1953. Once back in France he published La Nuit commence au Cap Horn, The Night Begins in Cap Horn, as saint Lou. He may have won the prestigious Prix Goncourt for the book but Le Figaro Littéraire exposed Aguirre as the true author. Of the entire jury only Colette refused to retract her vote for St. Lou during the ensuing uproar. St. Lou continued to work as an author and journalist, writing several books about the LVF Les Volontaires, the Volunteers, and both the French Les Hérétiques, the Heretics, Les Nostalgiques, the Nostalgiques, and Belgian Waffen SS Les SS de la Toisendor. The SS of the Golden Fleece. His writing was marked by a pursuit of adventure, the desire to surpass the self, and an antipathy to Christian philosophy. He was an apologist for the foreign SS volunteers with whom he had served. He published several works about regionalist movements and about man's struggle to survive in wild and savage environments. He was also fascinated by cars and motorized transport and wrote biographies of Louis Renault and Marius Berlitt. His last novel, La République du Mont Blanc, The Republic of Mont Blanc, was about the survival of a small Savoyard community that took refuge on the mountain to escape intermixing and decadence. Saint Lou influenced certain pagan and far left authors such as Pierre Vial and Jean Maubier. Topic: <laughs> Later Years. He would later return to France where he worked closely with René Bennett whilst also acting as president of Dominique Venner's Comité France-Rhodesia. He was featured heavily in France's far-right journals until his death. 